Hello my genius minds, welcome to your aptitude and reasoning book grade 5 and this is chapter number 6, Coding and Decoding. Now a very interesting question, why we learn coding and decoding? So it just helps you to expand your thinking, it increases your logical reasoning and understanding and it gives you the idea that how a code is created. So when basically you want to convey some secret message to some of your friend, it is sending the message in form of certain codes so that only the receiver is able to decode the message. So here Chirag found the secret message near the soap case and he's not able to decode it. Baron is going to help him and see how interesting way he is using. So he says that Boney is represented by hashtag dollar percent and sign. And then clan is written by and sign asterisk exclamation and percentage. Now they have to decode a message which is here. Come let's try it. This hashtag stands for B. Then we have exclamation. Here we have A for it. Further, let's see what asterisk represents. This is L. We write down L here. Coming to at the rate, we say it is C. We have taken C here. Then we have percent. Beautiful. We write N for percent and is for Y. So we got a code. We have the next treasure in balcony. So this is a good mental exercise and do you know when you study coding, decoding, it makes your brain sharper and even the research says that coding, decoding create interest for the students who are slow learners and they become brighter. So this is a game basically and what are the different type of coding you study? The first one is letter coding where we have letters which are written either in forward or backward direction and some code language is created using it. Then direct letter coding. In this, the letter is directly replaced by some other letter. And the third one is using some numbers or symbols as codes. So for every alphabet, we are using some symbol or code and then a new message is formed. So now let's try writing some codes. Here what we have done, we have a word where first two alphabets are shuffled, the middle one remains same and then other two are shuffled. So this index turns to I come here and N comes here. And the another logic that's applied is one is added to I that turns to J and one is subtracted from N that turns to M and D remains as it is. Then we come to E and X, we add one to E that turns to F and we subtract one from X. So what comes before X is W? So the code for index becomes M, J, D, W, F. So tricky, but yes, of course, funny as well. Let's take another word. We have bellow and what we are doing, we are first taking it in a reverse form. That means B comes here, then comes E, then comes L, then the O and followed by W. And one more creative thing is done. We have added plus four to every alphabet. So after B comes C, D, E, F. We give F here, after E plus 4 turns to I, L plus 4 turns to P, O plus 4 turns to S and W plus 4 turns to A. How? X, Y, Z and then comes A. So your new word becomes A, S, P, I, F. Funny and interesting as well. Let's take more examples. In a certain code, if unique is written like this, now you have to see how unique is converted. And we got a trick to recognize it, that first two alphabets are replaced. So it is written UN, IQ, UE. Good idea. Now the question is, you have to write gentle. So just flipping off two, two alphabets, 
this GE turns to EG, NT turns to TN and LE turns to EL and we got the correct answer EGTNEL. That's wonderful. I could read the smile on your face. Let's take another example. In a certain code language, we write refund like this. And now you have to write center using the same code pattern. So let's first recognize how refund is changed to SFGTMC. So after observing, we see that for the first three alphabets, we have done plus one. And for the next three alphabets, we have followed the pattern of minus one. That means what comes before U is T, what comes before N is M and what comes before D is C. And this pattern is adjusted for center. So what comes after C is D, what comes after E is F, what comes after N is O. Then for these three alphabets, what comes before T is S, before R is Q and before E comes D and we got the code that is D F O S Q D. So this D part is the right answer. Becoming so brilliant, I could read your faces. Let's try another coding technique. Here in a certain code, we write torch as 7 hash at the rate 8 4 and further we write sharp as 5 4 C at the rate 6. Now you have to make a code for patch. Going to P, we write down 6 here. Going back to A, we write down C here. Going to T, yes, we got 7. Beautifully answered. And C is 8. And what is H? Here we got it. That's 4. So your code is here. And we extracted B is the right answer. Now we have more questions for you. So just observe the question very carefully. You have to focus on the pattern that is created and then gradually you can increase your speed once you understand how the codes are created. Every time you need to understand each question will have different pattern. Each question will have different formation of coding. So a little brainstorming is required and it will be better if you sit with complete concentration and you focus on how these questions are created. I believe you are going to become a smart coder so quickly. Now we have more questions. Here in a certain language, we have the letters coding given here. And with this letter coding, you have to create different words. So just keep picking every alphabet and write the corresponding code for different words, right? And over here, we are provided with the information and along with it, some instructions are given. And along with these codes, some conditions are given that if first digit is odd, then it is to be coded as Y. And if the last digit is even, then it is to be coded as X. And if either 4 or 9 is in between the number, then we have to code it as Z. Now, based on these information, you have to write the code for given numbers. So easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm sure after doing these questions, you are going to turn into a smart child. All the best.